The National Institute for Health Research exists to accelerate treatments into patients for their benefit. In 2008, Barts and London won a cardiovascular biomedical research unit. Since that time, we have been able to show that beetroot juice uh, can lower blood pressure very effectively in patients with high blood pressure and to trial novel approaches to stem cell therapy for heart attacks and heart failure. All of the themes I've mentioned have benefited greatly from the provision through the Biomedical Research Unit of an advanced imaging centre. What this has allowed us to do is to use state-of-the-art imaging techniques to understand how the medicines and cell therapies we've been trialling can benefit our patients better. We have one of the uh, busiest clinical units in the country. We have an enormous patient base. Uh, we have a very large heart attack centre, in fact one of the largest in Europe and this gives us the uh, infrastructure necessary for translational research programs. The Cardiovascular Biomedical Research Unit, or CVBAU, was opened fairly recently by Dame Sally Davis, the Director of the National Institute for Health Research. Our East London population is known for very, very high risk of heart-related disease, and we thought it would be a good idea to go out into the community and educate them about how they can prevent heart disease, how they can recognise heart disease and how we these days treat heart disease. Patients become much more actively engaged in design of trials, helping us design the facilities, influencing the research work that we do and that's enjoyable for all concerned. It means that everything's grounded in where the patients are. My role is to support the patient group, the trust patient group, to obtain feedback from patients and help to use that to improve the quality of care we provide. As part of that work, I've been involved with the Let's Talk Heart Seminar, trying to get a cross-section of communities involved in promoting health and well-being and also engaging them into, in the research ideas. And so we have a group that are advising us on not only how we lay out facilities like the Heart Centre we're standing in, but also how we design the trials that they will participate in. An important aspect of that is to work out how we engage the next generation in science and in medicine. And one of our activities is to reach out to school-aged children. To do this, we've created the Barts and the London Science Festival as an annual event. This is an opportunity for the public to come and meet our scientists. We'll hold the science market, a science competition, lecturettes, which are short presentations in a very entertaining fashion by our senior investigators, an acting group called Performing Medicine, and we'll have a keynote lecture by Dr. Adam Hart Davis. The National Institute for Health Research has given us an additional capital grant which allowed us to build new office space and to buy the latest technology to look at images in novel ways. Now, this scanner is fantastic and when we got it at the end of 2009 it was actually the first installed in the UK. Uh, the reason why it's so great is because it allows us to acquire a scanner in less than a second. The patient can walk in and walk out and in the matter of 10 minutes the study has been acquired but also it's extremely dose efficient. So we can scan patients with a very low radiation dose and this is beneficial for them of course but also opens the door to research applications for this technology. We treat many hundreds of patients each year and we have a special interest in complex arrhythmia problems like atrial fibrillation. One of the things that the BRU has allowed us to do is collaborate with colleagues that are in different parts of the trust, particularly in imaging. This allows us to target complex rhythm problems much more accurately and with much less damage to the heart. On this screen here you can see an example. You can see that it's a rather crude grey blob. If we compare this to the other side, which is a method that we've developed allowing us to import CTs and MRI scans, you can see that the geometry is much more accurate and much more lifelike. So we're able to steer our casters around in this and therefore know exactly where those red blobs of treatment are going. With the support from CVBRU, we can develop this basic science evidence to the translational work and then trial using an uh, intuitive patient. Particularly, I'm keen on understanding of the stem cell therapy mechanisms and also refine the protocol, treatment protocol of stem cell therapy. Uh, we believe that going forward with the biomedical research unit, we can continue to develop new molecules, to bring those new molecules into the clinical arena through phase one and phase two trials. 
and to enhance healthcare delivery, not only to East London, but to the country and the world as a whole. We've been engaging with the public, we're disseminating our research findings, but moving forward, I'm really looking forward to our move to the new Bats Hospital, which will provide us with fantastic facilities. And what my vision is that we will enable almost any patient coming into the hospital to have the opportunity to participate in a research study. I see here experts expanding knowledge. I see people delivering specialised medical care. And finally, I see people who are providing patient care. And it's all going on in this hospital.